Let's take a look at using Polar Array to add blades and other features to this turbine cylinder. I'll start with this model showing the turbine cylinder and a single blade. From the Modify panel, I'll select Polar Array. I'll select the feature I want to array, in this case the blade, and press Enter. I'm prompted to select a base point or an axis of rotation. There are a few ways to do this. For this video, I'll right-click and select Axis of Rotation. Using an Endpoint Object Snap, I'll select the first point and then the second point of the axis. By default, I have created an array of six items on the cylinder. Let's change the number of items to 20. This created an array of 20 items spaced equally around the turbine cylinder. Next, I'll change the number of levels to 12. This will complete the blades along the length of the turbine cylinder. With the blades completed, I'll start on the array for the ribs on the end of the cylinder. Creating the array for the ribs is similar to creating the array for the blades. I'll select Polar Array and select the rib. Next, I'll select the axis of rotation using the Endpoint Object Snap. By default, I created an array of six items. Let's change the number of items to 30. I'll set the number of rows to 3 and the distance between the rows to 500. I'll also need to change the increment of the rows to 800 to move the ribs back to the flange for each row. Our design of the turbine cylinder is complete with an array of blades followed by a set of ribs at different levels.